It's flying in for you, Les. I need it now. It's coming, Les. Um, uh, Cookie, I need names, please. Yeah, no sweat. Okay. Okay, everybody. Uh, Nate, I need a sound check from you. 10987654. Hey, contestants, how you doing? Glad you could be here. How many people do we have playing today? Uh, very good. Player one, why don't you uh, tell us about yourself, starting with typing in your name. Thanks. Now, player two, how about your name now? 45 seconds. Uh, Kevin, can I hear something from the band? I need to do a level. Thanks. Player three, what does your name look like? Okay, you want to do a seven? A dozen. Gotcha. 30 seconds. Player one, your buzzer is the letter Q as in quickie. Player two, your buzzer is B as in body odor. And player three, you've got the letter P as in personal hygiene. We're the stop cock on the end. I have a lot of confidence in Larry, too. Okay, okay Hal, can we cue the commercial? You got 20 it. 20 seconds. Keen on the end of it. 20 seconds? What the? Fine. Uh, now, listen. People blow this all the time. When a question comes up, if you want it, buzz in first. Then hit a 1, 2, 3, or 4 to pick an answer. Are you with me? 10 seconds. Hey, good luck. Get rid of the desktop, please. Now get rid of the desktop. Okay. Thank you, Ann. Go to black. Okay, everybody set. Hold tight. Holy startup drive. I think I'm cured. I'm telling you, with Cyberlicious Fruit Snacks, you can turn screen savers into life savers. you managed to launch the application that was good <laughs> well i'll tell you we got some tough questions for this show if you guys get every single one of them right i'm gonna be impressed for at least 10 seconds all right time to pass out the screws and here you go round one screws one for each of you all right now here's the deal with these screws if you think your neighbor doesn't know the answer to a question but you want to make them answer it anyway buzz in and then hit the s key that's s for screw so you made it easy to remember Drivers, start your engines. Player three, select the category. It's number one. The category behind this question is Wabbits and the Weagle Process. And we are talking 1,000 bucks for this question. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Imagine that Elmer Fudd is arrested for hunting rabbits out of season and Fudd speak which of the following is not one of his Miranda rights. What you mumble can be used against you. You have the right to be very, very quiet. You have the right to one phone call. Or you have the right to an eternal... <laughs> Player three, take the right to a phone call. That's not one of his Miranda rights, but he does have the right to have Bugs Bunny drop a heavy object on his skull. Okay, we need a... Here's the category. Hillbillies and auto safety. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. You know, I once heard statistically the most unsafe person in a car is the one riding shotgun. If you think back to the opening of the Beverly Hillbillies, which character would possibly be in the most danger of injury in an accident since he or she is shown riding shotgun? Ellie Mae, Granny, Jethro? No, they won't let Granny up front. She keeps turning the radio to that metal station. Go for it, player one. Jethro, no, he's driving. Go for it, player He's riding in the front seat, passenger side. And ironically, he's actually holding a shotgun. Go figure. Category player two, let's do it. Question three. All right, let's see what we're doing here. A hypochondriac's nightmare. And we will pay out $3,000 for this one. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. Okay, now imagine while visiting your family doctor to take care of problems with diarrhea and gonorrhea, you're told that you also have pyorrhea and seborrhea. What two specialists should you seek out? Dentist and dermatologist, ophthalmologist and urologist, psychiatrist and otolaryngologist, or proctologist and... Player three, what are you going to do about it? No, but they could help you out with your diarrhea and your gonorrhea. 
Go for it, player one. Dentist and dermatologist. Pyorrhea is an infection of the gums, and seborrhea causes abnormally oily skin. <laughs> Player one, it's up to you. What do we do? Four. Next up, taxi cabs and Satan. This question's gonna be worth two thousand one dollar bills. Okay, imagine an outrageous episode of Taxi where all the taxi cabs have become possessed by demon spirits. But in the last minute of the episode, Jesus arrives to perform a bizarre exorcism of the cabs, allowing everyone to go back to work. This is an example of which dramatic device? Deus Ex Machina. Player one. Oh, that was nice. You gotta answer it! Dramatic irony would be if everyone else but you knew you were doing something wrong. Sound familiar? Deus Ex Machina, literally translated, it means God from the machine. This taxi is going straight to hell. 50 cents for each extra bag. What do you say, player two? How about it? Uh-oh, best putts fits mine, whore. It's time for a ticklish fast go. All right, now here's your category for this gibberish question. Hair transplants and sports arenas. Opening value on this gibberish question, 5,000 bucks. Okay, to solve this puzzle, you gotta think fast because every second and a half, I'm ticking off a little bit of cash. You ready? What snappy comeback does this rhyme with? Click fit hair, a fun won't line. Hint one, it's often said out of anger. It's an angry statement about putting things in their place. Looks like this question's putting you in your place. Last hint, it's dark in there. About as dark as your prospects for getting this right. Player three, type in your answer. Careful, if you stick it too far, you'll need a proctologist to find it again. Player three, pick a category for me. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Number six, it's number six, it's the category canines and songbirds. And this one's gonna be worth $1,000. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. Where would you most commonly find both a woofer and a tweeter? In a pet store, between Earth and Mars, on the plains of Africa, or in a loudspeaker? Okay, if you got this attached to a speaker, put your ear by it right now. This is coming out of your woofer. And this is coming out of your tweeter. Player one, give me a category. Question seven. The name in this category is Bessie goes to a ball game. You get this one right, you got two thousand bucks coming at you. Okay, get yourself set. It's time. A herd of cattle would be happy grazing at each of these sports arenas, except which one? Candlestick Park, Soldier Field, the oh, Player Three. The Astrodome would not be too appetizing. The uh, grass in the dome is actually artificial turf. <laughs> Player three, select a category. Wow! Wait, wait, elevate, hibernate, vegetate. The category behind this question is short order cooks and men who like fire. Okay, this one might be a toughie. It's worth three thousand bucks. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. If Greek mythology's Prometheus and Mel from Alice opened a diner, what would they logically specialize in? Soul food, liver, <laughs> liver and chili. Mel makes chili, and Prometheus gets his liver eaten by an eagle for eternity. Soap side. Okay, we need a category. Your pick, player two. Number nine. Here's the category. Hey, watch where you put that hand. And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. Out of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie, which one could move without someone's hand stuck up inside of them? Kukla, Fran, Ollie, or none? Go. You got Here's a little spending money. Fran, she was the only one who wasn't a puppet.
Player one, pick one. The category is... I love that cute hole in the middle. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. Okay, hang tight, put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. The combination of mint flavoring and crystalline sugar in wintergreen lifesavers can cause what? Convulsions, sparks, methane production, or cancer? Hit your buzzer first. Yo! Go for it. Sparks. I swear to God, stand in the dark and bite hard enough. Try it sometime. Okay, we're at the end of round one now. On to round two. <laughs> All right, getting some screws out here for... Ow, ow, put the pin in here. God. Um, okay, here we go. One for everyone. Now, we are one round away from the jack attack, and all the questions in this round are going to be worth more than a round one. So pay attention, and let's do it. Player one, give me a category. And now, 11. This one's going to be Muslims and Hotel Accommodations. I'll pay you $4,000 bills for this one if you get it right. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. You want to start a hotel chain that caters to Muslims during the ninth month of the Muslim calendar. What would be the most fitting name? Quick, do your buzzer. The Ramadan Inn, the ninth month of the Muslim calendar, is known as Ramadan. Of course, there's a lot of fasting this month, so I wouldn't count on room service. Player one, it's up to you. What are we doing? Uh-oh, mess butt tit slime chore. Once again, it's time for a... Flicker Piss No Scope. The category for this gibberish question... The advantages of off-road vehicles. We're in round two, so this gibberish question is going to start off at $10,000. Okay, now remember, the faster you solve this puzzle, the more money you win. Okay, you set. With what title does this rhyme? Cars wreck, jeeps race fine. Don't be fooled by the punctuation. First tent, it's a television series. Hint two, the show is set in outer space. I know, battle. Go for it, player one. Type in. Cisco must save the station from Kira's incessant whining on the next episode of Cars Wreck. Jeeps race fine. And is it just me? Are those Ferengi even more irritating than Alf? Player one, pick one. Question 13. Next up. Hot House Pickup Lines. And this one is not going to be easy. $6,000. I'll tell you, some plants will do anything to get laid. The flower of the mirror orchard has developed a special look to help spread pollen. What's so great about it? It's clear hummingbirds smack into it. Clear? One thing's clear. You're not a botanist. Go for it. The mirror orchard looks so much like a female wasp that males try to mate with it. Was it good for you too, baby? Baby? Hey, wake up! Player two, pick one. 14! The name in this category is... A president by any other name would still be a sitcom. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. When it comes to presidential names, some are more popular than others. Because he shares his first name with the most common first name for U.S. presidents, statistically, which character would have the best chance of becoming president? J.J. James... Uh, no Alex's, or Keaton's for that matter, as president so far. <laughs> There have been six presidents named James. Of course, none of them displayed the comic genius of J.J., though I think uh, Ulysses Grant came up with the fake arrow through the head thing. Let's have a category, player two. Uh-oh, test not slick crime store. Once again, it's time for a Tinker Lake test drive. Here's your gibberish category. Cold cuts and other parts of the male anatomy. And if you're really fast, you can get up to 10,000 bucks for this gibberish question. Okay, now remember, you don't have all the time in the world here. The less time you take, the more money you make. Okay, with what childhood phrase does this rhyme? Rick her sweet, swell guy meat. It's a thing kids say. 
three, type in your answer. Yes, who is it? Breaker Sweets, well guy meat. There you go, children, and remember, always check your guy meat for razor blades. Okay, we need a category from player three. Question number 16. And I like it too. The category, Greek cooking with an attitude. Ah, you're gonna be pretty good if you get this one. It's worth 6,000 bucks. Okay, we're coming at you, heads up. If Zorba the Greek were to add a healthy dose of arrogance and pride to his mixture of mashed chickpeas, tahini, oil, lemon juice, and garlic, what might he call his new gastronomic <laughs> Go for pet pitas? Didn't they used to sell those back in the 70s? <laughs> Go Hubris is one of those fatal flaws from Greek tragedy. Hummus is often a fatal flaw for first dates. My dear, could I offer you a mint? Okay, we... All right, let's see what we're doing here. Scientific experiments and bad karma. And this one's gonna be worth $2,000. Hang on tight, cause here we go. I just for fun say you're a starfish. And just to be a jerk, let's say I yank off one of your arms and part of the central disc and chuck it in the sea. What are you gonna do about it? Regenerate a new starfish from your arm. Regenerate a brand new starfish from your severed arm. And then if you're smart, you'll crawl back on land, track me down and kill me. Player three, pick a category for him. Song to city. This one's gonna be, that's height challenged. It's gonna be worth $4,000. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. When a star converts all its hydrogen into helium, what does it become? An orange midget, a red giant, a red dwarf, or a yellow moon? Go for it, player three. A red giant. <laughs> Sometimes referred to as a big-ass star. It happens at the end of the life cycle. The star blows up to many times its original size. Okay, we need a category. Ooh, baby, the category is bovines, bovines, bovines. And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4,000 bucks. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. If there were a bologna prep wing at Oscar Mayer Foods, which sound would you least likely hear? Oink, moo, ba, or cluck, click, ba. No sheep meat in bologna. Player three, select the category. Here's the category. The Adams Family and the Oval Office. 6,000 bucks is riding on this one. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. If President John Adams were to star in the Adams Family as Gomez, which role should President John Quincy Adams play to stay true to their relationship? John and Johnny Q were father and son. Just like Gomez and Pugsley. Player three, pick a category for me. If you see two words together and they form a match, buzz in. $2,000 will be yours if you're right, but each time you're wrong, 2000 shall be taken away. But be not fooled. It won't be a match unless it fits this clue. Oh, brother. You got that? Load it and lock it in. You're going to need that clue, because here we go.
Great show. Hooky, uh, what's the plan here with the contestants? Yeah, 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 I'm all over it. Uh, listen, players, uh, if you want to play another game, uh, you just gotta clue me into that, okay? 